All right, more breaking news coming in at this point. The Supreme Court noticed to advocate Prashant Bhushan and contempt petitions filed by Attorney General K.K. Venugopal and Center. The Supreme Court, in fact, uh, where the matter is currently being taken up, says that it will deal with the larger issues. Bhushan accepts the notice in person. The next hearing in this case is to be taken up in March. The Center has told Supreme Court that Prashant Bhushan should be punished for contempt of court, differing with Attorney General's submission that Bhushan need not be punished for contempt. All right, that's the latest there coming in in this case of a contempt plea against Prashant Bhushan. Remember, the Supreme Court notice to Prashant Bhushan in contempt petition has been filed by Attorney General K.K. Venugopal and the Centre. And the Supreme Court says that it is going to deal with the larger issue in this case while Prashant Bhushan, the advocate in question, has also accepted uh, the notice in person. The next hearing to be taken up in March. Let me go across to our Deputy News Editor Minakshi Bhanja for further details. Yes, Minakshi, please go ahead. What, what details do you have? Well, Apurva, this is going to be a hugely interesting one and a very, very high-stake matter which uh, will play out. And uh, for the moment, the breaking news has been as to how the Supreme Court has admitted uh, this petition of contempt uh, which has been filed by Attorney General K.K. Venugopal and also the central government. And the second aspect has been as to how the centre has told the Supreme Court that senior advocate Prashant Bhushan should be pun punished for contempt of court charges in effect, uh, the central government has taken a different position uh, from the learned attorney general who had said that only larger issues should be framed uh, pertaining to Mr. Prashant Bhushan, sometimes making remarks uh, pertaining to aspects of the judiciary while the matter is still sub -judice. So, uh, two sharply varying positions by the centre and the attorney, but at the end of the day, uh, Supreme Court admitting this petition and like you pointed out, Prashant Bhushan was there to receive this notice in person and uh, this petition now stands admitted formally by the top court of Urwa. All right, so the two varying opinions are coming in at this point. But also, Minakshi, if you can help us very quickly, a brief background of what really happened and why is this contempt case against Prashant Bhushan? Well, Apurva, uh, this has all happened because Attorney General, uh, first it was the Attorney General and then later the central government also uh, filed a uh, uh, contempt petition against senior advocate uh, Prashant Bhushan. Uh, this has happened uh, because the attorney was mentioning a tweet uh, which was uh, placed by Prashant Bhushan while pressing his contempt petition. Uh, this is pertaining to one of the cases uh, which was still subdued, especially the CBI director appointment in which uh, Prashant Bhushan uh, had uh, tweeted something uh, which the Attorney General of India, K.K. Venugopal, has taken to personally and found gravely objectionable. And therefore, he is making the argument in the Supreme Court against Prashant Bhushan that in a subjudice matter, while the matter is still ongoing, how is it uh, that uh, Mr. Prashant Bhushan can step out in the public domain and make such remarks, okay. which cast aspersions not just on the judiciary, but also the ongoing process. So in this, while the Attorney General wanted larger issues to be settled uh, pertaining to subjudice matters and lawyers speaking to the media or giving disparaging remarks, the central government uh, clearly wants a stricter crackdown on Prashant Bhushan and has urged for the Supreme Court to punish him. All right, we'll leave it there, Minakshi. Many thanks for joining us and getting us those details on the SC notice to Prashant Bhushan in this case of contempt.